The Business Report, brought to you by the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme, a department of the Ministry of Youth and Community Empowerment, supporting young entrepreneurs from idea to enterprise. It is Wednesday, so of course we feature one of the clients of the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme. Tonight we look at a business taking a unique approach to fitness. Bajan Fusion is a fitness lifestyle event management service helping you get fit for life through engaging events that fuse entertainment, education, and excitement. March and March. Let's go. That's certified Let's go. trainer Celia Collimore, the woman behind Bajan Fusion. Fitness has always been a passion of hers, and that's no surprise, as she played basketball for Barbados almost 20 years ago. She gained a basketball scholarship and attended university in the United States. States. Ms. Collimore, who has a bachelor's in business administration and master's in public administration, specialized in human resources before moving back to Barbados eight years ago. She still offers her expertise in HR on a consultancy basis, but likes to focus on training and development of the body. Mm -hmm. On any given month, you can experience mountain biking, hiking, caving, paintball, paddleboard, you name it. It's all about trying something new and doing something different, as well as discovering all that is Barbados. She conducts classes several times a week at various locations across the country. When we caught up with her, she was busy at the Alexandra School, and this was a class of women, but Ms. Collimore caters to men and children as well. What you just witnessed was a movement through the Ministry of Health called Get Women Moving. Um, there was a 2015 State of the Nation survey which stated that one out of 10 women are physically active. So we're trying to capture the 9 out of 10 women who are not. And um, the idea is to get into different communities. And we want to make sure that the pricing is not prohibitive. So right now we charge $5 a session for this class. With the fitness party now, which is all inclusive, where there's men and women, that's a $20 class at the locations that I would have mentioned. So, Seawell Fitness Center, Roland Edwards Primary, as well as um, Pelican Village. Okay. Your spot is reserved when you book. One of her big success stories is Caroline Thompson. Right, so she came to the program at 315 pounds and has lost 115 pounds over the last three years. She says with discipline and hard work, you can achieve the results you want. If you are serious, if you're committed to yourself, if you're really about enhancing your lifestyle through your diet, and when I say diet, I really mean nutrition, how you eat, right? What you consume, um, mindset, really being focused, um, connecting with people who can encourage you, who can really get you moving. So for me, fitness is a lifestyle. It isn't something that you pick up and put down. It's something that I think that you should be doing constantly. Yes, take a break, but don't stay there. Get back up and get moving. Ms. Collimore explains why she found it important to fuse fitness with culture. So if you come to a fitness party class, you can experience burger down, burger down, burger glass. You can experience tata booty, but you don't know what that is, huh? And the whole point of giving people these Bajanisms is also to educate them on things that are Bajan, that are things that are culture. So whether you are, your great grandparents have shared all of this stuff with you or not, we are educating you on things that are for as you can see, Ms. Collimore and some of her clients are proudly wearing her brand. She currently sells dry fit and cotton tees. Yes has been instrumental to the success of her business, helping her every step of the way. And you can find out more about her classes and how you can join by contacting her on Instagram and Facebook, as well as giving her a call at 284-5426. Do you have an idea for a business or have started a business? Are you between 18 and 30 years old? Then you need to contact YES, the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme. YES is a dynamic network of services creatively packaged for you, the young entrepreneur. YES offers critical, timely business solutions, specialized technical assistance in accounting, legal, and marketing, a practical entrepreneurial training program, and your own youth enterprise officer for one-on-one -on -one counseling and mentoring. Contact YES today at 535-3835 and get your business moving. 
the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme, Ministry of Youth and Community Empowerment. In an effort to add greater communications value to small and medium enterprises, Cable and Wireless Business has launched a new initiative aimed at companies in that sector. It's called Flow Business. Managing Director of Flow Barbados Jensen Sylvester says the company discovered through its customer research that many local small businesses actually still prefer to use fixed lines. He says the new packages under the Flow Business brand therefore include fast broadband speed bundles along with the feature that will allow business owners to have access to their fixed line calls via an app whenever they're on the go. So we spent a lot of time talking to them, looking at our business, talking to them again, uh, and we've done a couple of things. And that's why we're here and that's why we're, we're so excited. So we've uh, trained a series uh, of teams uh, that will be focused very specifically on our SME segment. Those teams are call center teams, delivery teams, implementation teams, support teams, and of course our account managers, sales teams. week on Water Wednesdays we are talking about those nightly shutoffs that many of you our customers have experienced in recent months. Of course the Barbados Water Authority has been forced to do this to address low groundwater levels. To tell me a bit more about what will happen very soon is our Director of Engineering Charles Leslie. These nightly shutoffs have have been a pain for some of our customers but you have had no choice here at the Water Authority. Yes Shane. As all of the Barbadian public and throughout the Caribbean, we've been experiencing drier and hotter um, periods. As a result of this, our groundwater levels have been decreasing. We know that the groundwater comes from rainfall and all of us are experiencing reduced rainfall throughout the region. So this reduced rainfall has been um, affecting our groundwater levels in some of our major catchments. And these catchments, some of these major catchments, supply water to those higher areas of St. John, St. Joseph, um, St. Andrew. Those catchments which we're experiencing problems in now are the catchments of Bowmanston, Sweetville, and Applewitz. The levels in some instances have fallen by meters. As a result of that, we are unable to sustain um, appropriate levels at Golden Ridge Reservoirs. And as a result of that, we are unable to continually pump to Castle Grant. The levels that we're experiencing at Golden Ridge are just about seven, eight feet um, in one of the reservoirs. That is not allowing us to pump continuously into the Castle Grant area. And as a result of that, the residents in the Castle Grant area are experiencing some unusual hardship. And why you want to explain it, that situation, seven to eight feet in our, our okay. groundwater uh, facilities, what does that really mean? Seven to eight feet in the Golden Ridge Reservoir. The Golden Ridge Reservoir would normally, a full reservoir is about 12 feet. Seven to eight feet means that we can only pump for a couple hours. If we start to pump at four o'clock in the morning so that the pipes have water when the customers get up, by 10 or 11 o'clock in the day, that water is gone. Wow. And really and truly, for us to pump continuously through the, the day, we have, to have, we have to start off with a full reservoir and have that reservoir continually being replenished. In order for us to be able to sustain the pump into Castle Grant, we're gonna to have to restrict the water going into some of the other areas. And this is where now we are looking to extend the shutoffs in those areas leading up to the Golden Ridge Reservoir. Okay, From the talk about the nightly shutoffs now, yes. uh, that means you're extending it by how long? How, how long are we thinking about? Okay, we're extending the hours of the nightly shutoffs. Currently, the nightly shutoffs go from around 10 in the night until around four in the morning. We are extending that now from from 10 until, is, is this, you're gonna still have the same 10 until four period, but during the daytime when um, the residents, most of the residents go off to work, like from around nine in the morning, we will shut off the system again so that water can be directed into the Golden Ridge Reservoirs. And before the, the, the reservoir goes empty, 
you have water coming in so that that water can be continually pumped onto Castle Grant. Shane, we will be sending water tankers into the, the areas that will be affected by the shutoffs. But the reason we are breaking the shutoff as we are doing um, is so that during the night, um, when people are not using most of the water, you will get water going into the reservoir, the most of it. Um, we, we're stopping the, the, the shutoffs around four in the morning so that the pipelines then can recharge and people getting up for work in those affected areas will get water. And then when most of those people go off to work again, we are going to be doing the shutoff so that you, you're directing some of that flow into the Castle Grand area. So we're, we're um, trying to, to get the best of a, a, a bad situation that we are experiencing now. Okay, so uh, look out for those tankers <laughs> passing through those affected districts. Of course, we will put the schedule on our Facebook page and you can look out for more information right here on Water Wednesdays. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. As I said, you can go to our Facebook page for additional up-to-the-minute information or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You know you can find us there. It is the liquid of life.